In this last video about joints, I will talk about subtractions from joints. That means we have a data set and we want to only have a part of that data set. We have this, these two entities, we have students and we have classes. One class can contain many students and one student can only be in one class. And we have these data, that means we have actually four students and we have three classes, but we have five students, we have one more and Dan is not in a class. And as we can see over here at the front end, front end is not, does not have any students enrolled in it. So we, um, we have these two cases that we had a student who are not in class and class who doesn't have any students. So we have uh, the students in, uh, in one circle and we have our classes in one circle. And when we have to have a look at the, um, the visualization of these two tables together, we can see that uh, they have some overlap. But just before, just, just when we, um, we use SQL, we can see what we can get out of it. So we want to look first on the left exclusion. That means I want to know who is not in a class. I want to have those students who are not in a class. And I know that Dan is not in a class, so it will be something like this. Because the the two databases at backend, they are common ground, because Nils and John are databases and Maria and Tina on backend. So we would like to use a left outer join and then we want to subtract the shared data or the common ground between those two classes or those those two tables. We select our student name and our class name from the student and then we use a left outer join as we have done before. Then we have a where clause and in this where clause we want to have only those students and classes that doesn't have any class name. That means we want to have those students where the class name is known. As we can see here, Dan, he is not enrolled into a class. So what do we do when we do may have the, the right exclusion? I want to know which class is not selected. And as we know, frontend is not selected by anyone, so we use a right outer join without the shared data. And in order to do that, we will do it like before, except we will use a right outer join, and then we will have student student name is null. That means give me those classes where there are no students. And you may say we could use a, an equal sign instead of is, but actually in SQL that is not possible to use um, to 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 make this um, comparison. We need to use the reserve keyword is to uh, to get those who are null. So in this case, we'll get the front end, um, which is a class that doesn't have any students. And if we like to have excluded the middle, that means I want to know where the nulls are. I only want to know where are the problems. Then I will know that Dan is a problem and front end is a problem. And the query will be something like this, that we will have a full out of join and then we would like to subtract the student names that means those who doesn't have any classes and then i want to um, have those classes that it doesn't have any students and in this case we use all because we want to have both those who are not in a class and we want to have those classes who doesn't have any students so it is an, an all we need to use. If we used and, there will be no result at all. So in this case, the query result would be this. So this is the end of our joint journey. Um, have fun with SQL.